All right, guys, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about therapeutic management for a patient when they have pulmonary edema. Now, if we remember back from anatomy and physiology, when we're dealing with the patho of pulmonary edema, what's happening is that there's this accumulation of fluid in the lungs, and it's usually because there's a problem with the heart. All right, so when we're dealing with a patient with pulmonary edema, we use the mnemonic MAD DOG. So M stands for morphine, and the reason we use morphine is it helps to reduce discomfort and it helps to vasodilate. A stands for aminophilin. Aminophilin acts as a positive inotrope, so it helps to improve the contractility of the heart. That way, it gets more fluid out to the system and away from the lungs. D stands for digitalis or digoxin, and dig helps to improve myocardial contraction. The second D for dog stands for diuretics. This helps to reduce the volume overload and helps to kick out that extra fluid that's in the cardiovascular system and get it out of the body so that it helps to reduce any of that fluid accumulation in the lungs. O stands for oxygen. Anytime there's a fluid on the lungs, there is decreased oxygenation. So adding supplemental oxygen allows your patient to get that oxygen that they need. And G stands for gases. Anytime we have a patient that has pulmonary edema, we wanna make sure that we're monitoring their blood gas levels. That means we're monitoring their pH, their bicarb, and their carbon dioxide. And that helps to guide our practice when it comes to acid-base balance. Subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when our next nursing mnemonics video comes out. Click the little box below for your free cheat sheet. And did you know we have a free nursing mnemonics course? Click the link in the description below and you can take that course for free. Happy, Happy nursing. nursing.